Hi, this is Eric. It's about 24 weeks since the maxillomandibular advancement surgery. Uh, I meant to do a follow-up uh, a while ago, and I just got lazy. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so it has been uh, almost six months since the surgery. Um, the only lingering effects now, I still have a numb spot here um, on my lip and, and down in this area right over here. And I have a few teeth back here that are still sensitive. Uh, my dentist did say that uh, the sensitivity will probably improve over time and that uh, eventually that's going to be okay. It also feels like it's, the teeth are loose back here. And what he's told me was uh, the bone is actually still a little bit soft and forming back here. And that again, over time, that's actually going to get better. And it's, that, that sensation is going to go away, which is, which is good. It's kind of irritating. Uh, I'm eating pretty much whatever I want. Uh, I've had a few tough sirloin steaks that I, I couldn't quite chew that I had to pass on. But uh, I can eat, uh, like, if, if a steak is very tender, I can eat it just fine. And I've eaten chicken and uh, pretty much any vegetable or whatever, uh, even nuts, peanuts or whatever I've been able to, to chew on. So as far as the uh, how, how well the surgery worked for me, uh, before the surgery, I had an apnea hour per hour index of 70. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, after the surgery, it, it did not completely fix the problem. Uh, but it did go down to 35. So it's about, it's about half what it used to be. Um, overall, I feel better. I do feel better. I have more energy. Um, I think I am sleeping better. Uh, have more vivid dreams than I did before, and uh, I think I think it, it helped. Um, this, the steps now would be I could either try a CPAP machine again, uh, which I'm not really looking forward to. Uh, my dentist recommended uh, potentially trying a uh, appliance again. Um, the brand is called Myerson. Basically, uh, it's kind of like a retainer, but with these rubber bands that help pull your your jaw forward uh, at night so that it helps keep the airway open. Uh, I might give that a try. I'm still kind of waiting. There's still a lot of sensitivity. I'm still kind of waiting for that to, to get better, but uh, I might give that another shot and see how it goes. It, it didn't really help me before, but um, maybe this time it will work better after the surgery. You know, everything's a different shape now. It might, it might work better. So we'll have to give that a try. So uh, if, if I were to go back in time and make this decision again, I think I would still make the same choice. It has been a long recovery, uh, but the side effects are minimal. I think most of this is going to get better. Uh, hopefully this numbness gets better because that's, that's a real concern. But uh, other than that, I mean, uh, it was worth a try. The cure rate is very high. It's like 90%. I just happened to be in that 10% where it, it didn't cure me, but it did make a big improvement. And I think that it will definitely be uh, good for me in the long run um, instead of not having the surgery. The doctor also did recommend a, another surgery where they actually cut a square out of your uh, chin bone and then they they pull it out twisted. What that does is a tendon that your tongue is attached to the inside of your chin. And uh, when they kind of pull that out and, and, and then twist it, that pulls the tongue forward. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant to go do another surgery, although that does sound very minor compared to what I've done so far. And maybe it wouldn't be much of a big deal. But I think I'm going to give it a rest maybe next year if this dental appliance doesn't work out for me I can give it a try so that's about it I uh, hope you like the videos um, if anything new comes out of this with the appliance or whatever I'll, I'll be sure to make a video and, and let you know so thanks for watching and I hope that you found the information helpful bye